last session we were discussed about geometrical meaning of the zero of the polynomial linear quadratic and the cubic from that textbook example number 1 we have to see here see first of all question look at the graphs in figure 2.9 given below each is the graph of y is equals to p of x y is equals to p of x means that the polynomial is in variable x where p of x is a polynomial for each of the graphs find the number of zeros of p of x as we know the graph of polynomial and x axis intersect each other contains number of zeros Point is origin. 
This is the graph of polynomial y is equals to p of x. Polynomial is in variable x. The graph of polynomial each set x x is c. Only x x is c. At first point, second point, and the third point. That's why this polynomial contains how many number of zeros? There are three number of zeros. Same sentence we will repeat here as the graph of p of x intersects x axis at three points. Therefore. Number of zeros are three. Understood? Now for the number x axis, y axis, and the origin. The graph of polynomial is a straight line. Is that this is the linear polynomial? The graph of polynomial. Intersect x axis at single point. That's why it has only one zero. As the graph of p of x intersects x axis at only one point. One point. Therefore, number of zeros is only one. Got it? Now next one, fifth number. Again, this is the curve called as a parabola. Upward, upward represent the quadratic polynomial. X axis, y axis. This is the graph of y is equals to p of x. Intersect x axis at single point. That's why it contains how many number of zeros? Only one. As the graph of p of x intersects x axis at one point. Therefore, number of zeros is only one. Last one. X axis, y axis, and this curve represent the polynomial y is equal to p of x. Curve. Means the graph and x-axis intersect each other at one, two, three, and four points. That's why the number of zeros of this polynomial are four. As the graph of p of x. Intersects x axis at four points. Therefore, number of zeros are four. Compulsory C the intersection of x axis and graph, not y axis. Understood? Intersection of x axis and graph gives the number of zeros of given polynomial. Now we discuss same type of question in our exercise. Let's start from exercise 2.1. Exercise 2.1, there is one question only. 
This is the question related to example number one. See first of all question. The graphs of y is equal to p of x are given in figure two point ten below. For some polynomials p of x, find the number of zeros of p of x in each case. Figures are given in our questions, but right now the sentences are written on board because the sentences are same as example number one. There is a one change in first one. We need to find number of zeros. To find number of zeros, focus on two points. First is a graph. And second is x axis. See the point of intersection of x axis and the graph of polynomial. In first figure, x axis, y axis intersect each other at origin. Line represent the polynomial p of x. This line does not intersect to x axis. They are parallel to each other. In this case, the polynomial does not have any. Graph of p of x does not intersect x axis. Therefore, number of zeros is zero. Number of zeros is zero because there is no common point between the graph and x axis see the next figure graph and x axis which is at each other at single point therefore our sentences are same as the graph of p of x intersect x axis at one point that we can write here one point. Therefore, number of zeros are only one. Not R is number of zeros is only one. Third one, x-axis and graph each side each other at one. Two and three points. That's why this polynomial contains number of three zeros. As the graph of p of x intersect x axis at one, two, three points. Three points. Therefore, number of zeros is three. Fourth number. X axis, y axis, origin O. The graph represent quadratic polynomial intersect x axis at two distinct points. That's why number of zeros are two. See the intersection point of graph and x axis, not to y axis. As the graph of p of x intersect x axis at one and two, at two zeros, two points. Therefore, number of zeros is Fifth number, x axis and the graph intersect each other at one, two, three, four points. That's why it contains four number of zeros. As the graph of p of x intersect x axis at four points, therefore number of zeros is Last one, x axis and see the graph. See the intersection point of x axis with the graph. First point, second point, third point. Therefore, number of zeros is 3. As the graph of P of x intersect x axis at 3 points. Therefore, the number of zeros is 3. This topic
topic is the most easy topic uh, and also important for our section A MCQs blank type questions. In the next section, we will discuss about relationship between zeros and the coefficient of all three polynomials.